Vice Director here, Richard Galarza. Julie Carnett is with us. Uh, she's our lovely secretary. Uh, Michelle Pease Lawson is our past director. And I am the current director of Region 5. We also have Pat Huff. She's, she's over there. <laughs> she is our uh, director at large. And Ian Sage, who couldn't be with us tonight. We also have Denise Cummings, who is an advisor, and Joan Shelton Playlet, who is an advisor for Region 5. So I just want to thank everybody for all their hard work. Um, it's it's uh, a lot of work to learn our region, so thank you all for your time and efforts. Uh, so again, thank you for joining us for this special event. Our Horses for Humanity project, or Goldie as we have affectionately called it, began in the fall of 2019 at the AHA convention. Statue ship from the Midwest to Vantage Point Farm just out of Spokane, Washington. Last fall, it was finally shipped to the artist, Allison Elk, Washington. Over the course of six months and countless, countless hours, it was transformed into a beautiful work of art, which we will unveil shortly. The region purchased the statue in hopes of partnering and finding a local charity. We found that cherry in a little bit therapeutic driving center located in Redmond, Washington. I would now like to introduce a little bit's development director, Sharon Sullivan. Right and how I got 
twice a week at Little Bit. I started off just once a week where I would ride in the, in the therapy program. Riding horses was something that really scared me in the beginning. My therapist would make me do really silly things like ride sideways and backwards. It was always a challenge to make to get me to change positions because I felt unstable. But I had a lots of I had lots of helpers all around me. My therapist was on one side one side of me that one side of me and would always hold on to a special belt I would wear. We would play catch or red lightning light or crazy driving where there were lots of stops and starts and wild and wild turns. After the writing, I would get off and practice more strengthening things, but that wasn't as much fun as writing. I, I still do therapy once a week, but I have moved on to doing vaulting positions. I still get really scared of doing some of them, like the crab position or other positions. But other positions are fun, like kneeling in a pad with my arms out wide because I, it feels like I'm in flying. I even do donkey kicks on the horse's back while the horse walks around. I have, I have gotten so much stronger because of this, these treatments. I have also started to ride in adapted classes once a week. The, they, these are classes where I get to ride with my friends. There is an instructor and a course set up. I have to control my horse and tell it where to go and what to do. I have a person at, I have a person at the horse's head that helps control, but sometimes I get unclipped and ride on my own. Well, 34 years later, 
Mike, until his death, supported Little Bit with heart and soul. He helped Little Bit grow to what it is today. And I'm so honored to introduce Carly Velasquez, who is a, a um, former volunteer at Little Bit. And she's going to encourage maybe the younger kids to come out and have some fun and do what you do best, encourage others. I'll turn to you. It's perfect. Um, but anybody who's questioning or wants to help out or wondering how they can contribute to looking a little bit and help and volunteer their parents. <laughs> sure, let me come back up. As Carrie mentioned, a uh, little bit is our charity partner. So we would like to give you or present to you our first donation. So $1,000 from your chin thighs a little bit. So thank you. Thank you again, and now you can uh, feel free 
to look at our beautiful Benny up close. Thank you, everybody.